Hey guys, my name is Brian Graham. I'm a certified peptide specialist at Boulder Longevity Institute. Here today to talk to you about the risks associated with peptides. Uh, so with that being said, whether it's a product, medication, or supplement, um, with misuse or abuse, there are associated risks. When it comes to peptides specifically, protocols can be very complex and daunting. When done incorrectly, there can be significant concerns. Um, some more benign risks that we see are injection site reactions or redness. Uh, people may flush immediately after administration. You may experience some headaches or fluid retention. Some of the more graver concerns, so to speak, when peptides are misused or abused or not administered correctly or properly, um, include things like gynecomastia, which is enlarged breast, breast tissue in men, permanent involution of receptors, which this is significant. Uh, this often comes with abuse. And what this means is essentially, you're flooding your system with beyond physiologic norms of peptides or beyond physiological cell signals. And you are essentially down-regulating or permanently involuting these receptors, essentially frying your body's cellular signaling. This equates to loss of bone mineralization and inability to produce muscle or decreases in libido. I mean, I mean the list goes on. With that being said, uh, there are other concerns that come with abuse such as accelerating cancer growth or developing diabetes. Uh, I know these are pretty scary and significant, but regardless, this is why it is absolutely imperative that it is done correctly and medically managed. Um, having a well-educated certified peptide specialist can help you effectively and safely utilize peptide protocols. So with that being said, if you are interested in learning more, about how to mitigate the risks associated with peptide use, give our clinic a call or click the link below. Um, my name is Brian Graham. I'm a certified peptide specialist at Boulder Longevity Institute. Thanks for your time.